Hi there, this is going to be a quick video response for Ninja Orchids, whose channel you will find linked in the description box below. It's going to be about my Trichocentrum here, which I've had for about two and a half years now, but I've never really talked about it on my channel yet. So it's not in bloom at the moment, but I'm going to mainly talk about its growth habit and roots. Because yesterday when I checked on it, I noticed that the roots had gotten quite far underneath multiple trays. Actually, I couldn't really check on the roots. So today we are going to do it together, at least if I can, because I've noticed that... Do you see that? I've just removed the tray. That they have anchored themselves quite diligently to the table. And also to the windowsill back there. Okay, these two haven't come as far and they are already loose. So do we have others that have attached themselves somewhere? I think that's all. So, let's see. It's kind of a gloomy day, so I hope you're going to see everything. And here's the plant, and it has become quite big. And the roots are growing everywhere. <laughs> and every once in a while, I think there's a root growing into the pot from the ones put out at the base. But most of them are searching for, I guess, for some new place to anchor themselves. And as you can see, the plant has quite a climbing growth habit. I don't know if you can see the ankle, but it's grown as if there were a ladder that could climb. I think it's hidden by the leaf with the spots here but it's climbing out of the pot. That's what it does. And there are still enough roots inside the pot that are still alive and are still working. And here you see my choice of media. It's lava rocks at the base and some coarse bark farther up. And I think I've chosen the lava rocks because I still had them and they were heavier and the plant didn't have all too many roots when I got it if I remember correctly and I wanted the pot to be heavier so that it wouldn't fall out of its pot instantly that's why I chose this combination and it has always done extremely well concerning its vigorousness but it has gotten this infection shortly after I got it and it wouldn't stop on its own. I sprayed with I think a copper based solution, with copper octanoate, I, I can't pronounce the name, and it worked pretty well. There was another affected leaf and it has abandoned this leaf and this one is the one it kept but the spots haven't progressed and the newest leaves, which are pretty much the three largest leaves that you see here, are not affected. So everything is fine and unfortunately the latest new growth, which is the biggest, I'm sorry I'm shaking and turning the plant around all the time, I hope you are not nauseous at this point. So this large new growth here hasn't bloomed but has decided to put out another new growth in late summer. So I don't know if that's a good idea. If you ask me it's not. I would rather have seen blooms but that's what I got and I'm looking forward to seeing one more of these beautiful leaves which I absolutely adore. These mule ear shaped leaves have these freckles which are very dark, almost black, and which are perfectly normal 
and the leaves are very fleshy and they do store quite a lot of water. These plants have very small pseudobulbs, which you can see here, which do not store much water. They don't need to because these fleshy, these fleshy leaves do hold water really, really well. They do get wrinkly if they haven't had water for quite a long time. But usually they just store water really well. Yeah, that's the plant and its roots. And Ninja, I hope this was helpful by any means and I will keep my fingers crossed that you will find a way to make your trichocentrum happy again. And I know it was only my trichocentrum on my windowsill, so Please, everyone else out there, could you please share your trichocentrum growing methods in the comment section down below and share this video maybe with someone else on social media who has a trichocentrum and can also tell us something about their culture. It would be great to have a little collection of trichocentrum growing tips from different environments in the comment section down below. Happy growing to all of you. Bye bye.